Right, let's cover one of the major differences between instance and v6, and that is the canvas. So to demonstrate, uh, I'm going to capture some text, and I'm hoping that I can show you a quality difference. Okay, so here's some random text. Currently the canvas is 3840 by 2160, and the canvas is where, every, where? It's where everything gets composed to. It's effectively what is going to be output is the movie. So on the right hand side these are our output settings and this shows you that we're going to be outputting at 3840 by 2160. And this is nice and clear. So let's make it not clear. Let's scale this down to, let's go 128720. Okay. Now everything looks like it's in the same place but the quality is much less. Hoping you can see this on the video. Um, so the, the um, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you put onto your canvas. So let's add a camera. Let's add me. Doo -boo -boo. Okay, make me uh, a bit smaller and put me on the left. Actually a bit smaller again, left. So if I scale, if I change back to 38, 40, 21, 60, you'll notice that the items stay in the same place. The camera stays where it was, the um, the screen stays where it was, but they're now much clearer, and now we're outputting 38, 40, 21, 60. So yeah, that's a big difference. Um, the output also has an ability to scale, just like an instant. So if you wanted to do a quick encode, uh, you know, perhaps you're just doing a, a sample to send to someone, you could run the output at 50%. Yeah, so that's the canvas in a nutshell. Next, now. Everything's off just to one side, so I apologize if my face is looking the other way. Next major difference, to record application audio, all you have to do is tick application audio. There's no driver required in V6. The third difference is that you can now capture layers. Well, I say layers in, in, in the V6 has layers, but uh, it's now able to capture windows on the screen without uh, capturing all of the content as well. So. I've got in V6, I have the following option. I'm looking at the preferences and I've got hide app while recording is off. So watch what happens here. I'm recording a single window, which is over here. I'll show you something else while I'm at it. You'll notice that as I resize this window, it fits in the, in the canvas and I show you. Okay, that aside, if we record and V6 is still up, it's still on the screen. We'll stop that. Let's have a look at the recording. Let's get rid of that debug stuff. So here, here's the final movie. Now V6 was, actually if we just move that away for a moment, you'll notice V6 was over the top of the window. So previously, and I show you instant, you would have V6 sitting there over the top of your recording. But in this one, we don't. So that's true whenever you're doing single window or um, application recording. Uh, you can choose what gets recorded. Masking, cameras, AI, background removal. This is all new. So uh, I'll cover it very briefly because I'm, uh, I think it, it probably deserves its own video. Uh, there's a little bit to get through. But in short, the, the quick is you've got this option here under uh, anything with an image really that says person mask and it gets rid of the background, done. You can also um, mask and background. So if we turn that off for a moment, let's put in a mask of a symbol, and we'll use I don't know, one of my favorite, a circle. So you can quickly do that. When AI masking is on, you'll notice how my head is slightly clipped. There's a, a little target symbol here, and it'll work out where you are uh, if you click it, it repositions it. <laughs> Didn't get it quite right. But essentially it will reposition it. So if I'm over here, it will change the center point of the mask. So if you're wondering what that little target reticle was, that's what it's for. You can right click it and uh, reset everything as well. I'll cover cameras, masking, backgrounds in another video because it'll get longer than I want to put here. So that covers the major differences between I show you instant and V6. There are more articles on help.shinywhitebox.com and of course there's the I Show You V6 playlist on YouTube. So be sure to check those out. There'll be loads more information there. This 
just covers the basics. But I hope you enjoy using the new app.